YouTube Dawson Rider here with a review of the Deluxe Kyojin from Juden Sentai Kyojin. Um, so as you can see, we have the three of them separated right now. It's a bit difficult to see everyone because Gabutia here is a space hog. But uh, this mecha is comprised of three. Um, we have Gabutia here, the giant T-Rex. We got Sagochi and uh, Trikira right down here, or Dricera rather. Um, the pink Triceratops, which is really just the star of the set. Um, so they are going to all three combine into Kyoyujin and basically do a bunch of different sounds. So we have quite a bit to go over. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start right off the bat and go over the batteries with the Gabba Revolver and such to get that out of the way. So you get three uh, Beast Batteries, uh, Judenshi with this, one for each of the uh, Juden Ryu you get. We have Gabu Tears right here, which you have already got one of those with your uh, Gabu Revolver. Um, but so as you can see, this is the battery design. It's number one. You have this little picture uh, right there on the inside, and you have the flip gimmick. A uh, little picture right there. It says Gabutier on the back. Here it is next to the one you get with uh, the Gabu Revolver. Uh, practically the same thing. There's a slight, slight color variation, it appears. But pretty much the same exact thing. It does the exact same thing and everything, obviously. Uh, we got Stagochis here, which is blue. Obviously, you got a number three here. I've got the little picture on the inside. Yet again, flip gimmick. Picture there. It says Stagochi on the back. And then the most awesome one, the pink Triceratops. Uh, Dricera right here, pink, five, boom, pink Triceratops, little symbol there, Dracera. So those are those. I'm not going to be showing the sounds of him because you're going to be seeing lots of Gabutira sounds and you can also see in the Galba Revolver review. But I will be showing the sounds of uh, Stagoshi and Dracera. So uh, let's go ahead and just do that. So I'm basically just going to put them both in and so you can get their excited and not excited sounds. So, it's Stagochi on the bottom. So. Alright, so now we'll switch them up. So now we'll put Dyke here on the bottom. Alright, so those are pretty much the sounds in it. You can also get individual ones, which are basically just the same exact voice and such. And obviously you can combine it with any of the other batteries that you have gotten up to this point. But so that is what it does in that. So now we can move on to the actual mecha. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. Uh, I guess I'll start with the two small ones first. Here we have Stagochi. It's a pretty decent looking dude. Uh, you got primarily blue with some, some very uh, bright yellow colors going on for his spikes and throughout here. Uh, he's pretty decent looking. There's nothing too special about him really. Um, this should probably be flipped around, so dude, you don't want to be looking that excited. Um, but anyhow, uh, like I said, nothing too special about him. He doesn't roll or really do much on his own. Obviously he wouldn't roll because he's got feet. Um, but you can put his battery in him by pressing this up, and you can put it in either way. Um, and when you stick it in like this, it'll uh, be stuck like this because you're going to be using that for uh, when you put him in the arms because these are basically like the attachers, which is kind of neat. Um, but then you can press it in further by pressing this little tummy button down here. And that will pop up this blade here. So that's all action-y. So that's fun. Make sure it stays. There we go. So you can do that. I'll leave it in there just for now. Um, and now we have my personal favorite. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a pink Triceratops. I think that's absolutely awesome. After getting blue Triceratopses uh, for the past two Dino Sentais, pink Triceratops beats everything ever in the history of time. So I love her design, uh, it's really awesome, she's got the kind of drill gimmick. Uh, there's technically not really much to her mech, she's like primarily this really bright pink. Got the little bit of yellow accents and the gray, and a bit of silver, but like I said, I do really like her design. Uh, she doesn't really do anything on her own here. Uh, she can also uh, hold her battery and pull off of her, her head completely. Okay, so we now we'll put her battery in. So yet again, just like uh, Stagochi, it will stay like this uh, for transformation. Um, and then you press the little tummy button, and you can put it all the way in, and like that. So, fun! So now here we have the big daddy, uh, Gabutira. He is huge. 
the, the biggest of the set, obviously, because he's going to take up the primary body. Um, I really do like his design as well. I know a lot of people complain about their sort of silly looking design, but I, I actually really like their stylized look. Um, he's actually quite cool looking. Uh, he looks really nice. Uh, primarily red paint with the same yellow here. You got some silver. That's the front of him. Obviously, here's the other side. And here's the on switch for the sounds. We'll go ahead and switch that on. And make that activation noise. Um, he can't really do much uh, before sounds. Uh, you can move his legs a little bit to possibly get a walking pose. Open this up, which is obviously going to be where the battery goes. I um, mean, you can move his little arms a little bit, but uh, nothing too much. Um, so for sounds in this mode, uh, if you just press this button, it'll make a roaring noise. And he can read any of the batteries when he's in dinosaur mode. And if you press down, you'll get his little spikes to pop up. Um, and so yeah, you can read any of them. I'm just gonna actually pull a random battery out. Let's pull out 18 just to show you. So it can read it in this mode if you so choose. Um, so now we are going to do the transformation. Uh, so basically, uh, we're going to have to do sounds with it too. But we're basically just going to get him ready first. So to do that, we're going to take this piece off. Um, and then open it up to reveal the helmet. Uh, we'll set both of these aside for now. We're going to be using them in just a minute. Um, now for this, what you're going to want to do is basically the legs are just going to sort of swivel around. Um, so, how do I want to do what I want to do first? Okay, so take these. Um, there's two little gray buttons here, just slide them like this, and slide these back, right? And then you're just going to want to swing these around like so, and then uh, swing these down, swing these down, there we go, swing these up, kind of fold these down a little bit, and then you separate his legs um, to your desired length, whatever you think looks best. There is his legs, we're going to pan up now, there's not much going on down there other than feet. Um, and then pull this up here to reveal his head. It was just hidden in plain sight. Uh, then you can place the helmet on like that. Um, and then if you're wondering what we're going to do with that gigantic tail, we are going to open it up and it is going to become a back piece. Place that on the two bottom pegs back here. There we go with the roaring noises again. Not roaring noises. Still getting over that. Okay, so we have him all prepped. So now what we're going to want to do is basically do the transformation and music and such like that. Um, but actually, before that, we're, let's prep these guys. There's so many steps, I'm like, what to do first? What will we roll up next? So to prep him, I'm actually going to take out his battery first. So same little button here, and we're going to take it out briefly. To prep him, it's very simple. You're just going to fold his legs up like this so they look all streamlined. And then pull this piece off, and we'll set it aside temporarily. And then uh, open this up so he's ready, and he's ready to be this arm. For Triceratops, just fold this back, fold our legs up. Um, we're going to take our battery out, and she's all ready. So now, the way this works is this thing can basically read three batteries at a time, um, and then remember them for combinations. This piece here has a reader, which is really just a pin system, and these in here just have simple push buttons that will activate whatever sounds you pressed in them. So we're just going to have it read the three batteries, and then uh, we'll go from there. So, let's do this. Okay, so we got that red. We can put that in there and get him ready. Now let's do Tricera. Tricera, sorry. Okay, get again. Get her ready. And then, Gabutira. Okay, so now that that's all ready, we can leave that battery in there. Now just press this button, it'll start music, and then we'll be attaching the arms, and it should do everything for us correctly. So now just attach this. Okay. Now it'll kick into this and start doing this music. And then finish it by pressing the button. So very fun. Basically it's like an interactive transformation with noises that you get from the show. Very, very cool the way they do that. Um, as for this piece here, all you're really going to want to do um, is fold this piece out and then this is going to become like a sword piece. Uh, you can put it in his hand like this. 
Um, it's almost like a sword spear in a lot of ways, I don't know. Um, I am just gonna keep it stored. I prefer to just keep it stored on the side, um, especially when I'm gonna be messing around with it. So, uh, just keep it like that. So, he's just kinda chilling. But so that is Kyoyujin. Um, I do quite like his design. Um, like I said, a lot of people are kinda turned off by it. Think it looks a little cartoony. His legs a little bit too spread, but uh, personally, I really enjoy it. I think it really fits Kyoyujin's style. Um, it takes a little bit to get used to all of the drastic colors because you have like a main body red and then a really bright pink and a decently bright blue. But after you see it for a while, it does kind of uh, start to appeal to you. Like personally, I just really like it. I think it it like stands out and blends together at the same time. But so now I'm going to knock the camera. We have a bunch of different noises we can do. Um, each of the batteries has their own sort of attack noise. Um, on their own, and then you can also do combination noises. So start with attack noise. I just want to press that. Okay, so let's do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with Gabutera. So just place Gabutera in there. We'll make that noise. All right, so that is its noise, and now I'm going to quickly uh, cut away. So All right, so you can't even tell anything happened, and now we can just do the final little noises for us to go to and Daikira. So let's put it in. Okay, and now for Daikira. Okay, so now you can also do final noises for other batteries you got with other things. Um, I'm going to do them in sort of a weird order because I just grabbed two completely random ones to use for the arms here. Uh, so we will start with Stimera, which is 14, which comes with the Gabba Revolver. Alright, and then Elvira Poo, which is just Poo. This is the best one. So that one just says Poo and then it farts at you. So it's easily the best memory. I mean, uh, battery, sorry. Um, and now we're going to do Ignoranodon. So this is 18. And now to Peranda. Alright, so now we will do the ones that I was using for the arms. So we have Alomaris. Okay, and then now we can do the other one, which is Beyonceva. All right. So um, that's pretty much it for those sounds. Now we can do other sounds where we basically use the other, these batteries as if they were going to be the arms. Uh, so in order to do that, I'm going to unattach these. Um, so I'm going to be using them in sets of two with Gabutira to do them. So let's go ahead and do that. So we will use Elamaris. Okay, and Stimero. And Gabutera. Gabutera. 
and then the dance. Okay, so that is that formation. Now we will do the same thing again with another pairing. This time it is going to be Beyonce Mo. Avirapu. And then Gabutira to finish off the combo. All right, so now. Okay, so now we have one last set here. We've got Uranodon. Whoops, I want to do this first. I want to unplug these first. Get ahead of myself. All right. To Veranda. Okay, and Gabutira to close us out. Alright, so that is pretty much it. The only other sound really worth note is if you don't have a battery in there. It'll make it get the hell out of the building because there's a fire noise. Um, but so overall, I absolutely love this mecha. Uh, as I said previously, I thoroughly enjoy its design. I'm always a huge fan of dinosaurs. I like this design in particular. This thing has a lot of playability. You can just tell from the sheer amount of time that we've been here. I love the fact that this actually has a battery reader in it. Um, the last time we actually had sounds as part of a main mecha was Ingeno, I believe, and that was uh, where the sounds actually came out of the engine souls. This one actually uh, comes from the mecha. So it's really cool. It really uh, lends itself well to the battery gimmick because whether you're a roleplay toy collector or a mecha collector or both, you'll be able to use the batteries in anything. And as you can see, there's a huge variety of combinations. I basically got the gist of all the sounds, but you can mix and match these any kind you want. There's more batteries coming out, more mecha coming out. There's just tons and tons to do with this toy. So if you are a fan of Kyoyuger or of Sentai Mecha, I highly recommend this. I think it looks really nice on the shelf, and there's a tons of playability with it with the batteries. I absolutely love it. It's a lot of fun. The noises are fun. I just love it. And pink Triceratops. Um, just the only other thing is, obviously, articulation. His arms are just going to move, but uh, we'll knock this thing off. He can move his legs a bit. Um, it's a brick, like always, but you know, that's fine, because he's just going to stand there on the shelf being an awesome dinosaur robot that can make farting noises. So overall, definitely recommended. Dawson Rider seal of approval. So I have wasted enough of your time. Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out Riders, Rangers, and Rambles for the craziest Toku podcast you've ever heard. This is Dawson Rider, signing out.